Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is David and right now you are watching a new episode of Inside St. Petersburg, Russia. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to an Italian singer with Argentine roots. Her name is Daniela and since 2019 she's been living in St. Petersburg, Russia. I'm going to ask her a few questions about her life in Russia and I'm also going to show you a glimpse into her daily life here in St. Petersburg. Enjoy! Hi everyone, my name is Daniela Fanelli. I'm 26 years old. I am a singer, songwriter and vocal coach. I live in St. Petersburg for nearly three years now. I'm originally from Italy, but my mom is from Argentina. My dad is Italian. I was born in uh, Rome. I lived there till I was seven. Then I lived a year in Poland, three years in Ireland, four years in Greece, one year in Chile, one year in Florence, Italy, one year in upstate New York, two or three years in Boston, and then I finally ended up here in St. Petersburg, Russia. Because my family moved here for work, to St. Petersburg specifically, and uh, I decided to go live with them after I graduated from college. It was a little bit of a shock to uh, move away from Boston. I had all my friends, my life, um, my hobbies there. So coming here and beginning from zero was a bit difficult. Um, and also the cold. I mean, in Boston, it's not so much warmer, but still the, the cold wind here is um, something to reckon with for sure. Um, they were bad because I came in the winter so it st petersburg looked dark it was cold um and nobody was really friendly because everybody was just with their big coats and trying to get to where they were going so um yeah not so good i'd say this is a difficult question there's so many things i like about the city but um the weather in the summer it's one of my favorite things because it kind of makes everything magical. The, the buildings, you can see all the beautiful details of the architecture, the flowers up here, the city kind of takes on this life. Um, all the Russians are wearing kind of shorts and like, uh, um, and small shirts and enjoying catching some sun finally. So the weather in the summer is one of my favorite things. Another is probably the food, the general quality of the food. Um, the ingredients are fresh, it seems, because really anywhere you go to eat, even Salovayas, you can find homemade food, you can find food that's nutritious, that has flavor. And uh, the cuisine is a mix of all these different um, cultures and ethnicities that exist within Russia. So it's such an interesting uh, cuisine, I'd say, and good quality of food mostly everywhere and my last but not least favorite thing I believe is the music community in this city it's a wonderful 
it's a wonderful vibe that's been really welcoming to me. I've learned a lot. I've met so many cool people. Um, I have made uh, so many discoveries about myself and about music. So um, I really love the music community here. The weather is probably the main thing I don't like. There's uh, rain most of the time. It's dark most of the time. The sun, you can, you can uh, say goodbye to the sun for most of the year. Um, yeah, uh, the smog. There's a lot of smog in the city. You can see uh, if you watch any window, if you go to any window, anybody's home, there's like a dark, like black line uh, beside the wall, beside where the window is. So the smog is pretty bad. Um, and then I guess it's not a very bike friendly city so the roads can be dangerous even walking on the pedestrian you know road can be dangerous because you have many scooters so you have nowhere for bikes nowhere for scooters and the scooters kind of take over um, especially in the summertime so yeah that's what I don't like about the city in general no in general no of course if you want if you have expensive taste and want to go to expensive places there's definitely options for you um, but if you don't want to spend too much um, you're in a good place I'd say Today we are here uh, for my classes, my singing classes that I give to my students. We are at Galernia 20, we are at my studio, well actually it's not really my studio, it's my student's studio, Lesia, but she kindly um, lent it to us today. So here we are, ready for our class. Do you need to relax today or do you need to be energized? Uh, oh, to relax. <laughs> to relax, okay. So let's just... Let's just uh, loosen up the whole body, so just shake around. Close your eyes, start to get connected with the breath. So now, once you've kind of loosened up the muscles a little bit, you can just shoulder rolls back. And let's relax by putting, kind of uh, doing some breathing exercises, so hand on chest, hand on stomach. Nice! Good, good, good. Let's do a couple of... Let's do... Ah, 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 like barking. Ah, ah, ah. Uh-huh. But uh, with more volume and more confidence, yeah? Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha! There you go. Open up here. Make sure you're not pulling up or pulling to uh -huh. down. And just push from here. Ah, ah, like your sign. Ah. ah! Really getting that cord closure nice. Mm -hmm. Can you try it again with this thinking? Mm -hmm. So. Better sound. And you can go, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you see? And you had much more to keep going. This is really nice. This, we, when we warm up, we wanna, we wanna do this kind of focus. Like, it's not about loudness, it's about the right place, the right way. So do it that speed that you did just now with that clarity. 
Mm -hmm. That's and once you get comfortable making it with that clarity at that speed, you can then make it faster. <laughs> Do, 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 do. So nearly, nearly finished. Again, one more time. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. 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 more musical I think. Yeah, maybe. You agree? <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Uh, my name is Lesia uh, and I'm from Siberia but I live in St. Petersburg for two or three maybe years. Uh, I'm a musician, I'm a singer. Today I'm having a cl class with Daniela because I heard uh, a lot about her when I was visiting some parties, some uh, gems uh, in St. Petersburg and uh, uh, one day I heard her singing on the scene and I said wow <laughs> it's crazy where we are at now we're at planetarium in the north of the city so we'll be doing sound check uh, for our show tonight at the planetarium called love jazz in Italy We'll be singing some Italian songs, so some classics like Volare, Parole, Confessa, mm -hmm. in Italian of course, and then we'll have some uh, jazz songs in English, and then we'll also be performing some of my own songs, which I wrote along with Constantine, and those songs are also in English. I'm actually so excited for the concert, it's been such a... be a diva, because you are diva. This is who you are. You are not the, like... You're not the one who like uh, should wear strange, weird clothes and not show off. This is no, you are. You can show. allow. You can allow yourself to be that. Because that is who you are. Constantine, how long do you know Daniel? For how long? Three years. Two Three years? years. Feels like a long time. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it could be less, but <laughs> no. Kidding? Um, Not. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, some, it's around two years, two to two, two, three years, yeah. yeah, something like that. And uh, you've been working together since we met. Almost, almost, yeah. Hmm. It took me a little bit of time to catch up to speed because Constantine has been a working musician for his whole life, and I only mm. kind of recently started my. <coughs> professional career. career so it took me a, t it's a little bit to kind of uh, yeah. get to get to a decent uh, professional place but and we're getting there addicted to now I'm addicted yeah. <laughs> are you nervous for tonight um I'm not nervous because I'm confident with I'm, com I'm comfortable with the musicians I'm comfortable with the program that we're performing and I'm comfortable with the venue so there is not a lot to be nervous about Tell me, uh, where are we going right now? We are going to the planetarium at the north of the city, not the one in the south, because there's two different ones. So tonight, are you going to play at the planetarium, yeah? Yes.
how do you feel before to go on the stage now? How do I feel before going on stage in general or today? Today, no, right now. How do you feel right now to go on stage? I feel excited to go on stage. I feel excited to share some good energy with uh, the musicians and the people coming to hear us. And um, like maybe like a little bit nervous, like 10% nervous, but it's just part of the excitement feeling. Sorry for the interruption, but I cannot play the full concert in this video. So I'm just going to share with you some clips. Here you go. Quando la cosa mi va, se mi va, quando 
Camilla, how did it go tonight, the concert? It went beautifully. The audience was so warm. They were so responsive and singing along and clapping. And it was really, it was really warm atmosphere. It was really fun. <laughs> I'm a singer mainly, so I sing in venues, I sing in music halls, I sing in different concert halls, in restaurants. I also teach uh, singing online and in person, individual classes. I also teach vocal workshops for groups. Currently I have a group I'm working with in Viborg. And um, I also do some singer-songwriting work, so I write songs for some people and um, that's about it. I can't speak for all foreigners living in Russia, of course, and um, I think there's different challenges for different fields of work, but in my field of music, um, I, think it's, I think it's actually a benefit to be a foreigner because Russians really appreciate um, English speakers, uh, good English pronunciation in, uh, in songs in, when I sing, so I think for me it's a benefit, actually. I don't like to make generalizations. It's hard to make generalizations. I don't like to stereotype also because I know <laughs> how it feels to be stereotyped. But I'd say um, as a whole, of course, they um, maybe they're curious and welcoming to foreigners. At least the Russian people who I've met have been curious and open towards me. Um, They've been glad to share their culture and their customs with me. So I guess welcoming people. And um, yeah, I'd say that's about it. I can't speak on all of Russia because I it's such a big country with so many different cultures within this country, but I can speak on St. Petersburg. Um, I'd say St. Petersburg is definitely a very pleasant place to live if you love music, if you love art, if you love culture in general, you like history, architecture, you'll have a great time here if you love architecture. Um, yeah, I'd say this is a lovely city to live in. It's very human friendly. You can kind of walk anywhere. If you live in the city center, everything's pretty reachable. The buses work great. Mashrutkas work wonderful. The train system is absolutely breathtaking how beautiful it is and uh, yeah it's a it's a nice place it's a livable place very livable of course prepare language wise prepare customs wise know how people communicate know how people um, behave with each other as much as you can so you can blend in uh, and um, hmm Prepare to be surprised and prepare to also feel comfortable in ways that maybe you didn't expect to feel comfortable in. I'm still forming this dream. I think it would be great to um, I would think it would be great to live really to make a full living as a professional singer, full-time singer. That is the number one dream, I guess. Maybe in the future I could open a center where um, vocal arts and psychology and healthness and well-being are kind of joined together, kind of like music therapy, but for mm, the common, the average adult. Um, yeah, kind of to incorporate both, that's kind of a, a dream, but for the future. Thank you for watching! I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like it, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell if you wish to get notified for when I will be releasing my next video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the link will be below. Until, Until next time, we wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. day. Ciao! Ciao.